Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Stellar Seller Sam, and I just wanted to come on today and talk to you guys about a few solds and a few things that I sourced. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna pop up over here is a Kate Spade tote. So I went to the bins to get this, and when I go to the bins, it you pay per pound. And I go at mine has a half off day. So I paid probably about a dollar for this. I wanted to let you guys know that a lot of the purses that I source, they have flaws. I mean, they're, they're, they're pre-owned. And so, I mean, they have things wrong with them. And I have had a lot of success disclosing a course that it is a flaw, that they have flaws. But I have a lot of success. So unless they're like, really bad i'll still source them so like on this one there are um just a couple places on it that don't look so great and so i showed those in the pictures and disclosed it and here is a comp and hopefully it will sell well anyway i mean i'm i'm gonna profit because i paid a buck for it it was super light all right so moving on um next i got this at the bins too so it was like less than 50 cents okay this is a Hallmark Twilight. So you got Bella and Edward. And I'm gonna pop up the comps. I was really surprised by them, all right? I might sell it a little closer to Christmas. So it's not that you can't sell ornaments and Christmas stuff at other points during the year, but I feel like, I don't know, I might, I might hold off. I might go ahead and sell it. Um, I guess we'll see. This is some kind of, I thought it was a Funko Pop, but it, it's definitely not. Um, it is a ghost face and he glows in the dark. And I actually, I don't pick up a lot of things from retail stores, but I did pick up this one. It was on clearance at um, GameStop. And it was about, if I can recall, about three to four dollars. And I figured I'd go ahead and pick it up. I didn't comp it out or anything. Um, until I got home. I might sell it closer toward Halloween. Again, I'll I'll just kind of see where that goes. All right, this next thing, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch. All right, I know you're thinking I got lucky because I found this at the bins, but it's just the case. Though cases do sell, so I am going to sell just the case. Here's the comps on the case. So, um, being the fact I probably paid less than 50 cents for this at the bins, um, and people are often looking for cases to these games, I'm sure it'll probably sell fairly quickly. And, um, oh well, it didn't have the game in it, but I took it anyway. The case was in great condition. All right, now this is one of my first glasses pickups. Okay, I got this also from the bin, so less than 50, 75 cents since it was half off day and it does not weigh a whole lot. Um, so these are Ted Baker glasses and I got them, looked them up really, really quickly and saw some of the comps were good, some of them were average, just nothing major. Um, anyway, but you, even though I, re I realized I put them on and it was like magnification, Anyway, um, people can pop out the, the glasses or take them to an eyeglasses place and have them popped out. And then somebody could just use the frames. And that goes for any brand of frame um, if they're prescription glasses. So I'm still going to try to sell them. I'll let you guys know how that goes. All right. Next up is a book. Also got this from the bins. Cost me cents, right? So this is Spy versus Spy. All right, anybody remember that game? Cause I remember playing that with my brother on the Nintendo and yeah, I think I maybe won one time. He blew me up and set all these traps and anyway. So if you ever played that game, let me know. Tell me in the comments. Um, I had to pick it up cause it was so nostalgic and that's why a lot of people buy a lot of things on eBay and other places is because they're nostalgic. Anyway, so I got this book and here are the comps. All right, so this Disney Never Girls sealed book set, I picked it up uh, for 50 cents at the Goodwill and um, it was sealed. So I was like, why not? 
So we'll see how that sells. Uh, the comps are right here. Nothing, nothing that's going to go big, but it's, it's going to go. I found this fossil belt and it is vintage at the bins. Now, I mean, it was a, a little bit heavier, not, not anything major. So still paid less than probably less than a dollar, maybe a little over a dollar in its weight. Um, so here are the comps on that. All right. Next is this Ralph Lauren tote bag. Um, I picked it up at my Goodwill and I got it cause it was new. I didn't comp it out or anything. And it's just a tote with a little, um, wristlet. And so I, I figure hopefully it'll just, it will just be a quick seller. All right. I picked this up because it looked vintage, like, um, a new old stock type of toy. I have no idea what it is. Um, I couldn't find any comps on it, which is probably a bad thing because that might mean that it doesn't sell very well, but pff, I'm gonna eat my hair. We're just gonna see where it goes. Um, here are some listings that I found. All right, I picked up my first picture, okay? Over Christmas time, I bought my husband um, a picture. Oh, it was a collage of our family on vacation. Anyway, it came in a box that was from Walgreens and I was like, you know what? I'm going to utilize this box and I'm going to sell my first picture. So on an auction for about $7.99, $8, I won um, this, who is this signed by Sam Tim? 1999, it has these mallard duck thingamabobbers. Anyway, it's a cool picture and here are the comps I found on it. Now I'm gonna share with you a few solds um, from the past few days, just some of my favorite things that I sold, all right? First thing is, are these Nike LeBron shoes. Um, I bought them at my local, Good bleh, local Goodwill for about $5 and they sold for about $39.99, $40. And I don't pay shipping. Um, the buyer always pays shipping. Here is a an Animal Kingdom Triceratops, it's Disney. And uh, it was super cute. It sold really fast, got it for cents at the bins. And it sold, I think I did a best offer on that for about $14. So here's a vintage clutch purse, um, very cute. I put it on auction because I've had it for a while and I tend to run auctions on things that I don't pay a lot for that just I'm not getting many views on. And I feel like it keeps my eBay store kind of alive and refreshed. Uh, so anyway, sold this for $7 and I only spent cents on it at the bins again. So I made a profit. It wasn't a good profit, but it's profit. Now I bought these beautiful Michael Shannon shoes back around Christmas because I was like, oh my gosh, they're so sparkly and beautiful. Now I wouldn't wear something like that because I don't wear super sparkly, beautiful things, but I figured somebody would want to wear them. Now I know Michael Shannon is not like a big brand shoe, but the shoes were in immaculate condition. They looked like they'd never been walked in a day in their life. Um, so I put them up and they just sold I think it was yesterday or the day before. Um, and they didn't sell for a lot. I think whatever it says right here, uh, anyway. So I got those at the bins and they were actually pretty light for being heels. So I, I didn't have much in them. I was just happy they sold. Yay! These were my favorite shoes. I wanted to keep them, but they were a men's size nine and a half, I believe. Um, I bought them at Goodwill for about $5 and 75 cents. Um, they did not last long. They sold fairly quickly. I took a best offer, I believe, for $40 because they had no insoles. But I was like, somebody could just stick some Dr. Scholl's in there and call it a day, whatever. I hope you guys had a happy, happy Valentine's Day. I forgot that it was Valentine's Day. Um, even forgot it was my birthday the other day. I have a really bad memory. It's so cute little story. I remembered when my youngest little boy got in the car and the whole car ride home, he was just digging through all of his Valentines and naming every piece of candy he got. 
So I thought that was cute. Um, he is my last one in elementary school. And so I'm trying to soak up these little moments. And then my sixth grader came home and he was like, how come my brother got all this candy and I didn't? Well, I forgot by the time they get into middle school, they don't like hand out Valentine's anymore. So I was like, well, that's kind of sad. But anyway, he went to a basketball game and it was a tournament. He shot a three and he was happy. Guys, I am very thankful for you, whoever listened to me ramble on and whoever sticks around for my stories about my kids and my dogs and everything else. So I hope you guys had a great Valentine's Day. I hope you learned something from the video. All right, see ya. All right guys, so I was looking back at my video and I realized I forgot to put in one of the things that I sourced. All right, so I sourced these books. They're the Animorph books, okay? So they were out around the same time as the Goosebumps books and stuff like that. So I grabbed these. My dogs are barking like crazy. All right, I gotta hurry up. So I grabbed these books right here. And so they can go, like if you have the whole collection, they can go for like really good money. Um, but obviously if you just have some singles or a lot of them, they can go for decent money too, okay? So throwing that in, here's the comps and be on the lookout for the Animorphs books and Goosebumps. They both sell really well.